So hello and welcome to a video about rigging I suppose. It's kind of a rarity um, talking about rigging and stuff like that. It's not something I enjoy doing at all. But I know I never had really had much issue with it but lately it kind of had it comes with an issue where like sometimes you try to rig the arm and that leg I the character try to create clothing with the character and sometimes it was just the, the rig moves, the bone moves and like drags like the torso of the clothing around while moving the arms or just like the torso of the arms, bones in the arms just moving the legs or whatever so it's kind of weird so here's all the stuff I know about um, how to solve all those issues personally because I run into them a lot lately I always thought suddenly changing the version of Blender works but apparently it's my fault this time and yeah here's what I know about it so over here I just have a simple model in front of me um, I got the model really one of the newer projects what you just like to do though is to check um, there's nothing weird going on with all this model so I just make sure I set up all the drum tree. Everything is, is how I like it. I make sure that my character is scale correctly. So it's one point four two, which is fine. This character is pretty short. I uh, just make sure to get the clothing, the subdivisions correctly. And what I want to do is to make sure the character looks exactly like how I want the character to look. And after I make sure everything is okay, I just highlight for everything that I want to include inside my character model. Control A and just go um. Make sure you want to act the last active object is actually a physical mesh. Um and just have visual geometry to mesh. What that what that basically does is that everything you see on your screen before applying that functionality will just add all the geometry or modifiers to your geometry. So it will look exactly as how you want it to be. And after that, it's transform. So control A and then O transformations. So that would make the location or zero, the rotation or zero, and the scaling zero. So this is your default. And that's neat. Another reason why we apply all the geometry first before adding all the all the transition. Um let's go back a few steps before and some of these has modifiers. Yep, so these are the modifiers. So let's try to applying um the old transformation first and what you see is that applying transformation will screw up some things so all the things like uh the string wrap i think was it called on the eyebrows and stuff like that it just kind of, they kind of mess things up a bit and you see all the things that didn't have transform before kind of just messed up and this doesn't look exactly like you do so what a perfect like person like to do is just go do visual geometry first then the transforms just make sure it looks exactly how you want to inside your um inside the viewport where i have anything screwing up before moving on to things a bit. So now everything is at zero. And now let's drag the rig. I was at rig ready. Ta -da. <laughs> uh, yeah. Make sure the rig is also all transforms or zero. And the next thing I like to do is just, is just make sure all this stuff has their own origins correctly. So object, so origin to geometry. So all of them have their own stuff. So when they're moving along and stuff like that, it just will mess up things a bit. I found out if you had the origin or just at the baseline or the center of the world, it kind of sometimes mess things up a little bit. Um, yeah, information. Just take no risk. All things are supposed to be in the middle of the object. So now let's try to parent in some stuff. And there's going to be more issues. <laughs> Welcome to my life. It's brilliant. So I'm um, going to get the clothing. Like, I'm actually going to take both the clothing, the character, and the shirt a bit. And lastly, the bone as an active object to repair it automatic weights good there's no issues so let's i'm gonna select the bone structure control tab straight in the post mode i'm gonna try moving this thing around and <laughs> it's brilliant so you can see the arm is uh, re like weighted everything properly um arm is per fine it's like you have sleeve or whatever following it but and also this part of it over there so that's why moving the leg a bit actually let's try parenting um the shorts as well to the leak. Let's have it just hit the leak a little bit. Let's do that. Oh, I think the short is a little bit fine. Um, it's fine. It's sort of functional aside from the part. This part will be a bit too much. But overall, it is sort of fine ish. <laughs> um, but yeah, there are some issues. Um, post mode. Moving the arm to some issues. Um, yeah, so what's to do with that? So lately I realized something. It's something called normals. So let's go over here. Whatever this is. Uh, viewport overlays. And let's go phase orientations. 
Apparently what how it works inside a blender is that when doing automatic weight, blender also takes in the direction of your faces. So you see the red the red surfaces and you'll be very familiar with this if you've been using blender for a little bit more while. Um yeah, the red means the inside or yeah the inside faces and the blue means the outside faces. And what this is telling Blender because the red is facing the outside and the blue a lot of blues were facing the inside, is that telling the blender this outside faces are the oh not the not the red one. The red is telling this is the inside of the model. So it's telling blender this is the actual inside and that's the outside. I know inconsistencies. So kinda of have an issue. So what I wanna do is just convert all these outside faces into blue. So the blender actually knows what's going on. So since there's more red and stuff like that, it'd be easier is to just choose all the blue stuff. Something to keep in mind though, mine uh, model is also a single geometry as well. Sometimes it makes things a bit easier to rig because double-sided stuff you see. I know, it has some weighting issues. Whatever, and also when you have thickness, when you add thickness to something, especially like sleeves and stuff like that, but like these puffy sleeves, if you add thickness to it, uh, Blender will kind of treat these as like, from the spaces in between, uh, the sleeves, the clothing, to the actual arm itself, they kind of treat it like empty spaces and that sometimes rigging can cause an issue as well. What you like to do for the shirt is to, yeah, not add the sort of fire modifier and just add the joints of these holes. I just simply just do some simple extrusions inwards to fill in those holes to treat this as a solid object. So just leaving holes can also cause some issues as well, but that's not here and there. Let's just fill in all these, just, just, just choose all these blues, uh, blues first. Right there, there. Scroll windows. Um, da, 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 So there's jacket. And, oh, there's another jacket. There's a bit more down here. Surprise. There's <laughs> always more. Looks like that's like a trendy, trendy. That's like a trend in trendy, trendy, or something like that. So, wait, there's more. <gasps> Let's use all these blue. You know, if you feel boy, you can just hit C as well, and that'll give you a circle selection. Or if you don't want to hit C, you can just hit W a few times and that will change the difference. And that will just change the different selection abilities. You know, including circle. A few more clicks. Patience is key. And there's a few more in the patches. Boom, bap, bloop, 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 bloop. Also, additional detail though, you can just see there was not much of an issue within the pants. Yep, that also had correct normal as well, so that's working pretty fine. Just slowly. <laughs> It's kind of just like waiting for food, really. Just chill. Control I to invert and then Shift N to recalculate normals. Ta da. Amazing, isn't it? It usually doesn't work that well. There's some other issues. Uh, yeah, I've done this a few times now, preparing for the video. This is literally the first time that I performed as well. Yeah, it's a single face um clothing, so just not. Like, there's not much, too much I can do about it. A lot of these are to fix later, but let's not talk about that though. And yeah, let's try to apply this to the rig again. Just click the clothing first because the cat doesn't really have an issue, so blue and stuff like that. So the cat is fine, it was the clothing issue that was not matching the rig. So let's click the clothing and just do rig and then automatic weights. Let's go back and show tab again. Let's move around here. Um, let's go down to face orientation and say, see a little bit better. Go. You can see it's actually matching the arms now. It's not. Doing some weird stuff with this or whatever. Because it's re it was reading like this is the inside of the model. It's doing some weird stuff. Now it's reading correctly though, this is outside. Move around the waist a bit. Everything's moving fine. <laughs> Actually, it creates a small correction of that statement. Uh, if you move the arms a little bit, just take note of this area. It's influenced. So that's another issue with. um. What I was talking about with thicknesses. So this shows out here actually have a thickness. So if I move over here and turn on the face orientations, you see it's actually like the secondary face of the model being dragged out. So that's no good. Um so what I'm gonna do is delete that and just probably the drag from a different one. Uh huh. Solify. Let's kill that. Yep, so you know this this shows does indeed have issues. What I'm probably gonna do is just scale that one a little bit. Neat. Let's copy that one back into here, I believe. 
need I don't really need that at all. And we are uh, just can form object the geometry anything weird over here subdivisions geometry to mesh transforms object origin geometry control P automatic weights yeah now when you move this around that should be just completely fine without doing anything weird neat <laughs> then this does look a little bit creepy uh, <laughs> uh, yeah I'll do that later don't worry about it I was at some two guns I think we get a use of one of but this is how I really solve a lot of issues. Just make sure the scaling, just make sure it's correct, all the origin stuff is done, and just make sure the normals are correct. And these are what I found the three things that really helped me get from modern and stuff that is to solve a lot of the issues. Um so yeah, hopefully this was helpful in any way possible. Um thanks for watching and bye bye everybody. Take care.